We'll do the standard for now until we need to pull out the the old two thalers one cave. Might be the title actually. Calm down, it's just a game. Welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Ascended Scorched Earth. Now, why am I on fire? I don't know really. This is where my phoenix was when I logged out. So when I logged back in again, there's just a bit of fire there. It doesn't burn me, it doesn't cause any damage, but I guess it's another addition to the base. Now, as you can see, it's getting pretty crowded and there are some new additions, including this thick, ugly thing. Look at him. Looks like a French bulldog on steroids. But we got him during my last live stream. I live stream every single Friday at 3 p.m. Arizona time. And uh, we'd love to see you there. So come join us for the next one if you can. Now, it's pretty useful. I have never tamed a rock golem before. And it was pretty difficult. They kept breaking my cannon. But um, even though he's a low level, he gets a lot of good resources. There are none around to show you right now. But he's great at getting rock, which is good because he... Well, I guess he eats it as well. But... Super useful. We've got our Rexes over here breeding as per. And you've got to stop. You have... I'm warning you. What are you trying to tell me? It's cold. You want to go out for some dinner? Either way. Shush. Um, and the base is coming along mighty fine. I uh, killed an Alpha Wyvern because I needed milk. So I thought I'd put the head over there. And I've done some... Little additions and aesthetic bits to the building, but nothing major. This isn't quite touching the top of the platform there, so I'm going to have to figure that out. But let me show you upstairs in case you haven't seen. I've been getting into some of the DLC stuff, so there's actually a poker table over here. Uh, you can sit down and play poker. I can't because I think you can't do it on your own. Got a lovely place to sleep. Would you look at that? Beautiful. Um, and I have a piano where you can play some cool music from all of the ARC maps and uh, different scenarios. So that's very cool. Today is all about finishing this trifecta though. I need this other artifact. I've got the location. So let's go downstairs and make sure we have everything we need before we head off. Oh, I have another fridge because the eggs were getting a little bit much. So these eggs are my wyverns that I'd like to hatch or at least have as a backup. I do have another... 190 I believe I should I should there it is so if I can get the opposite gender to that one which I think is a female then we have a good breeding pair I think in terms of the manticore I've settled on going for rexes which is why I have so many that and to level up my creatures when I kill the babies so uh, in fact no I'm not going to do that now I'm going to leave them there for now but let me put some of this away because I don't need all of it as a backup that can go there and uh I think we're good to go. Let me check my ammo and then we are perfect. So, I do need some more shotgun shells. This is not going to do us. So, I'll make a few of those, make some more shotgun shells. I do have some nice sniper ammo and I think that's going to be good enough. Um, let's fetch our Thyla. I'm going to take both my Thylas. One is a backup because I'm not convinced that... I'm good enough to finish this last cave. I've heard some some tall tales, and I, I'd quite like to live. Now, where is the other one? There it is. Cool. Got both of them. And as soon as I have this ammo made, I'm going to top up on some food, get the lesser antidote that I have, and I think we're good to go. I'll catch up with you now. Okay, we're good to go. I'm going to leave my wyvern behind, as you can see. Pretty spotty. Not a good sign. And the reason is... I forgot this, actually. I did kill another alpha wyvern. Um, funny story, got pretty lucky there. The lightning bolts hit me. I kind of passed out in one of the nests, and it couldn't get to me properly, but it almost killed this wyvern, which would have been horrible, because I've leveled it up perfectly. In fact, let's put one more into health. And uh, you've got enough meat to keep going. I'm not going to bother... I'll drink one. I'm not going to bother putting this milk in a fridge. It doesn't last very long. Um, there's no need. So, do I have my phoenix on me? I do. I found another phoenix as well. I think it was like a 141, so it's a really good one. And uh, I'd like to get it up around the 200 mark. So, what are we going to put this point into? 
Stamina is great. Health is okay. I think health, yeah. They don't do very well in terms of health. And the weight's okay too. One more thing to show you. I'm kind of putting this guy to use. Kind of. Oh, God. Easy. Easy! Um, where's everything? Hang on. No. Oh. Oh, oh my God. Oh, wait, I'm stuck. Ark. Oh, oh, Jesus. Now what? I think I'm stuck. Oh, no, I am stuck. Do I... Hey, hey! Okay, so, you know, $50 game, and this is what we got to deal with. Can I, can I ride you? Are you... No. Um, I'm not sure what to do with this. Uh, give me a second to figure this out, because I may have just broken my game. Okay, relogged. Hasn't helped. Hasn't helped at all, except... I'm now... Hang on. Maybe I can do this. Maybe I can do this. What am I in? Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Okay. You know, if we're going to pay for a game twice, the very least you could do is make it work. I think... I don't think that's an unreasonable ask, do you? Um, anyway, what I was trying to do is show you that I had set up a mini station over here with some crops because I found out through the lovely people on the live stream, that uh, this auto fertilizes and auto waters the crops, as well as if I use the spade on them, it gets that uh, harvest bonus, which is pretty cool. So that's awesome. I've got to be careful to land on the edge of this because if the stuff's not going to load in, it's an issue. And the other thing that the Oasis saw does, if I go away and come back, which most likely will happen later, it's in the floor. Like the whole thing is in the floor. And that's not very fun. Now, I have everything I need because I just remembered this guy could uh, cook meat on him. So I'll kill something on the way and that'll be pretty cool. But where I'm trying to head today is apparently 28.5 latitude, 29.3 longitude. Nope, that's not what I'm looking for. There we go. So that'll be, that'll be up here somewhere. Yeah, okay, so we'll head uh, northwest, and I'll catch up with you when I'm closer. Oh, no, wait. What's this? All of the things I've forgotten that I did. Bit of lag. We can live with it. This is a 150 day add-on that I tamed. Completely forgot about this. And actually, now that my memory is coming back to me, I did end up getting a UT. It wasn't a very good level. I think it was a 85. I think that was the best I could do. So I will have to look for another one. But to be honest, if I just pump stats into stamina and health, we should be golden. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay. I see. Whoa! Easy! Yeah, you, you run. Or, or not. Or, or come back. Give me a second. Goodness. Okay, so the cave is right here, and it was uh, pretty difficult to see because everything looks the same on this map, which is kind of a cool thing, kind of a bad thing. It's a beautiful map, but uh, no, 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 no. But thank you. God damn! I can't even start the thing. Ooh, that was a 140. Hmm. 
it sucks, but I, I don't have the time or ability to be taming things right now. I need to be getting into this cave. Right, speaking of, let's get the first thyla out. If I like it like that. And, uh, I got the spare. So we'll have a look at how this goes. I'm not going to set the other one to follow me just yet because I was thinking if I if I get both Thylas out, I can command it to go ahead and take some of the damage from bats and off pleuras. But I have a feeling that it's going to cause more trouble than good. So I'll keep it on me and we'll uh, we'll do the standard for now until we need to pull out the, the old two Thylas, one cave. Might be the title actually. Whoa. Wait, is this like a water thing? Oh, you have a lot of levels. Because you've been sitting there getting passive XP. Nice. Um, Ten K and let's put the rest in there. You should be good. Can you jump like a normal person now? Or are you still just a little little difficult? Yep. Yep. Nope. Still a problem. Okay. Right. There's a bat underwater. Oh. Oh. Oh, Jesus. There's a dude right here. Um. No. Okay. This already more volatile than any of the other caves I did already and I've just put my pinky toe in just the tip oh no oh you oh you're underneath me <laughs> good luck this is pretty I have no idea where I'm going um Do you know what? Do I have grapples? I don't. This is an issue. Oh, it's not an issue. No, it's not. Because I have a thing that can climb. How do I... Yeah. Boom. No. Nope. Nope. Yeah, suck it, bat. Um... Hmm. Which way to go? I don't know. Let, let's keep going here. I just wanted to see if there was a loot drop there, because I'm told the cave ones are the best, or the cave and desert ones, but I haven't really seen any. Hello, you. You and your baby. And something is in the wall here. Can't believe that's still a thing, that there's uh, bats on the wall. Or anything in the wall, really. Mmm. Troublesome. No, no, no. Do you know what, though? I might... Mm. Whoa. Easy, easy, easy. Break all the trees and things. Um, I sincerely hope I don't have to swim anywhere. Because that would be chaos. As he says it, you know? Has to swim. I didn't bring any scuba gear. Didn't think you needed scuba gear for this. Maybe you don't. Maybe it's just... Uh... What? It's to, to simply... Excuse me. That's an artifact. Aha! Uh -huh. And... I see some creatures that may look to want to cause some trouble. I tell you what. Let me go back here be just to be safe because I don't know... I don't know... With things hiding in the walls and stuff, I'm going to go back here. Okay, it's not the time to take a dump. We're preparing for battle, my friend. 
And um, if I can turn it around, I want to bring out the other Thyla. I'm going to use the uh, battle tactic. See if it works. Boom! You ready for this? You want like a team talk or something? Um, okay. I stand here before you, your fearless leader. Your your face is covered in blood. Um you you don't speak English, but don't be shit. Okay? That's all I got. Okay, follow me. Now, it, its health isn't great because I just pumped a bunch of points in, but it's got 3,000, so even though it looks terrible, I don't think it's going to die. I hope. And um, being the, <laughs> the gentleman that I am, Ladies first. B. Aggressive. B. B. Aggressive. Or we'll just be neutral. Wait, they don't even want to fight me. All that for nothing. Go on then. Yeah, you got it. My money's on you. Good job. Well done. Okay. Let me grab this. And I'm not done, though, because I want to explore a bit more. They looked like there were many other routes. I am not going to believe that there are just, like, no loot drops in this cave. I can't believe that, because this must be the last one. Well, certainly the last one for an artifact, because I think there's only three. So I'll grab this, and I'll catch up with you in a second. Um, what are you? I mean, I have no use for you. I think, you know, it was fun while it lasted, but I'm going to stick with the one, especially if I'm jumping and climbing places. That's not going to work. So, I really did think, though, that this cave would cause us a lot more hassle than it did. Um, once again, there may be a bunch of other routes that are a little tricky. But so far, my experience with these caves is that they are very easy to do. Uh, not a whole lot of hassle. And you actually don't need that high a tame to come in here. In fact, you could probably do these all on foot. The creatures, you know, with the exception of maybe the first cave, there was a lot on the way out. Uh, not, not much on the way in. And again, I'm just playing single player, so this isn't a kind of posted server or anything, so there shouldn't be any issues. There shouldn't be any issues anyway, but I'm hearing a couple a couple more things right now, so we'll see on the way out if it's a bit more lively. But I really did think this one was going to give me more trouble, um, especially with that Megalosaurus in the beginning. Is there anything? Yeah, there's another root here for sure. They just don't aggro on you. Don't know what it is. Um. Yeah, that's the guy I killed. And I guess you can go up here, right? And then is there one more? No. This is the way I just was, I think. No loot drops, though, huh? Hmm. Super clear. Is this a drop, or... Was well, this sound just like when you get close to glowy stuff? It's got nothing to do with...
a loot drop. Um, we'll keep an eye. I don't know if these are spawning back in again, or if um, I'm going somewhere new. Not sure. Okay. Now, yeah, I think these are all respawns. This is a baby again, which is exactly what was the case. get rid of some of this. There is an explorer note here which I'll grab um, if I if I can. Come on you. Yeah, got go oh islands. no. Like the island. This oh, here we go. Space station yeah, we go. Natural environment. It is inhabited by a lot I've gone through this now like three or four times killed all of the respawned animals, uh, jumped and climbed and looked and <sighs> traveled, nothing. Can't seem to find a single loot drop. So either, well, there aren't any, or for some reason it's glitched and they aren't spawning. Which is fine because there's nothing in particular that I need. You know, if I was coming towards the end of the game or the map, and I was missing a pump shotgun or something like that, I'd, I'd be a little bit more concerned about the loot drops. But at the moment, I'm all right. I'm happy to leave this one with the artifact, call it a win. Just what it is. I would like to go look for another UT though, because if I can find one and it's a higher level, great. And um, I'd also like to keep my eyes open for a much higher level rock elemental. Now, there's no reason for me to get one. I don't need it. But I want it. So I will have to get one. Because that's how life works. We always want the things we don't need. Um, damn. Oh no. Here you go. Uh, made that more difficult than it needs to be. Are these worth it? In absolutely no way, shape, or form. But if I put these over, that gives me a bit of lamb, cooked lamb, which is cool. So I'll take that, and I think I'm all set on food. Again, I don't really need the polymer, not for anything specific, but. It's a bit of a hassle to get, so I'll hang on to it. There's another drop. Ooh. The UTs are... They're not that hard to find, because even if you don't see them, you're going to hear them. They don't really sound like a whole lot of other dinos, so... Should be easy to spot, as long as I fly around. Now, I think one of the other issues that I'm having is... People have been telling me to put hibernation mod on it. Um... Which effectively means, in order to make the game run a bit smoother and optimize it, when you aren't in a part of the map, it almost switches off. Which is why you can do the trick of getting one of your tames down and then flying away to get out of render distance so that uh, nothing else can kill it. Because if you're not there, nothing else is there, well then nothing's going to happen. Theoretically. But I guess the issue is, if that map isn't loading, then nothing else can spawn in. So it's a bit like the Phoenix. It won't uh, spawn in when there's a heat wave unless you kind of fly pretty much into it. Which is a hassle. Let's start all the way at this end. Now, 
Oof, gotta be careful here. When I was last here, I pretty much cleared out almost every single egg. And I also killed a bunch of wyverns. Oh, hello. Seventy-five. What is the one that I have back home? Will I be able to see or is it going to be in a pod so I can't? No. Um. Well, I don't know if this thing can get fear roared, but... Let's land on this rock over here quickly. Please be passive. No. What are you doing, dum dum? Oh, I, I hit hit one of the other big boys. Um, let's uh, let's see where it's gone, cause man, it's a one thirty Kano. Damn. Let's even get rid of these guys first. These babysitters, bullies. Come on back. You can do it. Damn. Um, oh, there you go. Damn rocks. Yes. Oh. <laughs> I think this was the one I hit once or twice, which is why it was so easy to take out. That and the fact that it's a level 5. Terrible. Um, yeah, it's pretty much the same level. I think the others are 85, but if it is able to give me a baby with an imprint, that'll be much better to take into the boss fight. Speaking of, as I think I mentioned in the beginning of this episode, I'm going to be settling on... Um, ooh. It's not quite good enough. I've got 190s, but... I'm going to be settling on using Rexes. I first was of the mindset of doing Rexes and Wyverns together. Oh no. And I was informed quite quite um, adamantly, and I'm grateful for it, that no, 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 don't do that, because if you have Wyverns and Rexes, then the Manticore is not going to land, like ever. So you're just going to be sitting there with Rexes and a UT while it either kills your your wyverns or they win. Either way, it's a bit of a boring fight, so I don't want to do that. I'm going to... I think I'm going to get this drop quick. I'm going to be using Rexes, and I think I still need to make some gas masks because it does torpor. And uh, I've bred and uh, imprinted two Rexes just to see what their stats would be, I think. I'm getting around 80... 80%. Oh, this is the one... Oh, no, it's not. I thought it was on stuck in the floor. I'm getting around 80% imprints. My, my settings probably need to be tweaked a little bit, but that's okay. I think I'm okay with those. And, um... I have yet to level them up. Ah, oh, come on. I have yet to level them up for the boss fight, so... I don't know what stats I'm looking at, but I'm going to assume... 10k health, about a k melee, and then there's not a whole lot I can do about Torpor, and I, I think putting points into that. Can you put points into that? No, you can't. You can't. Um, I was going to say, that would probably be a waste anyway, but it'd be great to know, with those kind of stats in mind, am I looking at a beta man score fight? Bear in mind, I've never done it before. So I will trust you guys to guide me. Boom. Nice. Um, Uni and the Beast. Hey. Oh, 
Come on. Oh, hello. No, don't do that. That's mean. Uh, I do want to see what level this is. Oh my god. Okay. Um... <laughs> I think this is I'm not gonna have time to get all the resources and make everything for this now but this is going to be marked up on the map for sure actually over here because this is a must-have for me at the moment I need one of those big elementals so let's do uh, 145 elemental and we'll make the color Make it blue, because I don't think anything else is blue on here. Or purple, or whatever that is. Yeah. Because that's a must-have. Um, yeah, let's head back to base, because... Heavy. I don't want to use up all of my sulfur resources flying around here with the Phoenix. It goes through them pretty quick. Um, not the end of the world, because I tend to get quite a lot of it. I'm just not near any sulfur resources that I can mine. So it is about going and killing wyverns to get that, which isn't a difficult thing to do, but it is a bit of, bit of a hassle, so. Okay, there might be some eggs to pick up here. I am finding that depending on the time of day, these eggs are like hatching. And you see, that's what I'm talking about. It's exactly what I'm talking about. Look at this. Look at this hot mess. It's in the floor. What do I do with that? It's not just in the floor, it's like... What's this? I don't understand. Waste of time. That is pretty good, actually. Uh, I'm not going to pick it up here, because it's going to be a nightmare. But... Yeah, if I fly away and come back again when it loads in, it tends to fix itself. I hope. Let's pick up my Phoenix and get the Sulphur. So it's not wasting that. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to hatch some more Rexes, even if I don't imprint them right now, but hatching them is part of the part of the deal. And I'll show you what the army, I mean, it doesn't look like anything yet, but let me put the polymer in here and I'll show you what I'm looking at. So, uh, also in here, you, you. Oh, an artifact. Goodness, we'll do that now. So this is where all of my Rexes are going to be once they're ready for the boss army. At the moment, there's only two in here that aren't babies. You can see that one. Oh, no, that's a baby. So there's a... Yeah, there's two adults, um, and that's what the stats look like once they've had as much imprint as they can. So this one has 88.9% is what I could get on that. And it's already got 10k health. It's already got 656 melee. I haven't... I don't think I've leveled this up right... No, it would show me if I did, because it's got the points there. No, so I haven't. So there's a lot to, to pump into this one um, when I kill some babies. But for now, I think I'm going to hatch a bunch more, because I don't know exactly the number I need, but that's six... I think we're going to take like 20. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're halfway there. And I think I can... Can I carry five? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Cool. Um, we'll go and throw these down to hatch. I got my little hatching place at the back here with the aircons. It doesn't look good, but it's convenient. Um, this overhang is cool, but I need to do something about it to uh, make it look a little nicer. But yeah, let me drop all of these. Let's go put our artifacts back up at the top and have a nice look at it complete. Um, there's a better way to do this, better place to put them, but for now it's okay. Dun 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 dun! All three artifacts, all done. Uh, probably looks better in the middle of that one, but I'm happy with that. Cave's far too easy, far too easy. Oh, also this, also this. I put um, my 
additional so the, this rex is the one that had the cool color that i just didn't have the time to breed the color scheme into them but it's display units that i think you get as part of the dlc my uh phoenix that i caught alongside the first one i got which wasn't a very good level and then one of the cool looking lightning wyverns so i've just put them there as a display i think maybe three more this side might look cool as well but for now we're all golden let's go check on those eggs okay everybody's hatching so we'll just start snapping them up uh and there you go so that auto claims them which is pretty cool uh well claims them when i shoot them into cryopod i'm gonna put them in here because that's where they should go and that is what we're looking at so 6 12 18 in fact to be honest that might do it I'm not 100% sure uh, how many I need. I also need one slot for my UT, so that's okay. Speaking of... Ah, oh, damn, they're both male. That's okay. Um, like I mentioned, I'm not too concerned because... It's going to form as a backup. Uh, the UT, as long as you're smart with it and you don't get it involved in the fight and you're just using it to like courage roll and stuff you should be okay my issue is going to be if it gets knocked out now there's one more thing i want to check out and that is this whole train system okay so i've got a bunch of ingots where do i build the train it's kind of taking away i was i was trying to stockpile the middle to get a another cannon as well as a bunch of um cannonballs to go and tame that one four five rock elemental but to be honest i have been kind of itching to have a look at what this can do so do i have everything i need no i need some more crystal um everything else i should have spark powder 500 cementing paste uh cementing paste might be the other thing it's not hard to make though it's just chitin and stone so let's do that right now because i'd rather that be going ahead see there you go back at the ground just uh chilling and all my stuff is visible it's one of those things you just got to be a little careful it's a bit buggy uh i knew there were going to be issues with the dinosaur that big but hey arc be arcing i have i think everything i need to do this so uh, let's drink. Take that over with me. I don't know how much cementing paste I exactly needed, but I do have more than enough crystal now. Uh, there you go. There you go. Pull. Boom. So train. Let's uh, let's do this. One of those. And can we make one? Oh, it's going to tell me there's enough stuff. Okay. Can we make another? And could I be so bold as to make one more? brilliant the train weighs 0 0.5 a train weighs a half arc logic never ceases to amaze me um bam 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 i think the best place for the train is going to be over here because it can go out that door okay so Too close to supply. Oh. Oh, yeah. There is a supply drop there. Okay. Mm. I mean, I don't want it like... Here? I, I guess here works. We could have the train kind of pulling up to the house. Uh, let's, let's do... That. Whoa. Whoa. It's pretty cool to be honest i just want to make sure that it can go out of the gate oh it can curve well that's very smart of course now this is going to be the trick because if that perfect okay perfect perfect so train can roll up right here which is great I mean, it costs a fortune, but I'm, I'm definitely going to invest. Let's have a look at what this does. W what do I do? 
How do I? Uh, I guess I put it on the hot bar. No. How do I make it? How do I make? Um, add train. No way. Oh wait, the train's the wrong way. Is this? No, it's not. No, it's not. It's good. Out of fuel. Hang on, I've got fuel. Okay, the other thing I'm going to try is uh, charcoal. Because I kind of said it earlier. I'm like, is, does it run on charcoal? Is that a thing? I can't seem to figure it out. But it's not wood, it's not gasoline. That should be enough to test this. I'll put that in there to make more because it's good for gunpowder anyway. Um, now, this is a pretty good direction for my train to go because if I loop it around, there's a ton of resources out there including sulfur, crystal, metal, that I am having a bit of a pain getting to. So, let's hope that's not the case. Now, if I do this and pull that in... Aha! Create it. Good. Okay, so that's the only thing that goes into its inventory. So let's have a look. Hey! Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, whoa! Okay. Okay. So you can actually go forward and backwards, which is what my one question was going to be. Now, this is going to be able to safely get outside of the base over here. I'm not going to make any more just yet because I do want to make those uh, the taming thing for the rock elemental but this is going to go outside of the base which is pretty damn cool and I'm going to oof I wonder if I need to pull it out this door instead it's a bit more flat but effectively I'd like to run it over that hill and onto the flat surface keeping it on this side of the mountain but all the way what hey 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 no. It stole my chainsaw. No. Oh, you are kidding me. You stupid son of a bitch.